session i would like to invite our first speaker mr prashant jain the head of retail business at fuke he brings with him two decades of professional experience in the field of electrical switch gear and test and measurement coming from an electrical engineering background mr prashant is an alumnus of the faculty of management studies delhi today mr prashant will give us a brief view of fluke environmental solutions for healthy iaq so delegates let's welcome mr prashant i would try to give a glimpse of what fluke can do for for uh, people who are in iaq technology into into iaq domain uh, instead of going into depth of any product i would like to tell about the width of the product which we can offer to professionals working in iaq Uh, segment uh, as an introduction welcome to fluke uh, the left side image is our headquarter in seattle uh, us the right side is our office in europe uh, in india we have our office in bangalore apart from bangalore we have uh, uh, offices in mumbai delhi uh, calcutta and other cities very uh, very brief uh, uh, introduction about fluke it was founded by by mr john fluke in 1948 so fluke is is almost a 75 year old company uh, in test and measurement Uh, globally we have more than 2000 employees working in 21 countries and the products are available in more than 100 countries uh, fluke has manufacturing facility in us europe uh, uk and asia uh, fluke as an organization it's the premium test and measurement brand which has a reputation for portability ruggedness accuracy safety ease of use and adherence to the highest standards of quality and safety so any fluke product whether it is our starting range to the most sophisticated product all of our products are portable very easy to carry they are extremely rugged uh, they are designed for industrial application all the products they are an epitome of accuracy in fact when we go to national physical laboratory then all the calibrator themselves which our calibration authority use to calibrate other product they, the the calibrator comes from flu so that's the kind of safe and accuracy standard which we maintain for our product all of our product adhere to international as well as the local safety standard of the country in which we operate fluke products are super easy to use most of the products are plug and play and customer can simply unpack the product and start using the product immediately and all of our product adhere to the standard quality standards we do not compromise on quality and and uh, we comply to all the standards whether they are international or local standards for a specific country uh this is our presence in india so uh, fluke has a very wide in fact if i can say so we have we have the widest presence among all the test and measurement player in india we are available in all major metro cities tier 1 tier 2 cities uh, with our office in bangalore branch offices in delhi mumbai chennai kolkata we have our own nabl labs our own service centers so fluke takes care of right from pre sales to post sales to the entire life cycle of the product uh, we have more than 100 industrial and retail channel partners in in, in india and more than 500 retail channel partners and as per our estimate approximately 5000 shops carry fluke product across india fluke is also available on all the e-commerce platforms most of the uh, popular e-commerce platform like amazon moglex instacart all these platform carry fluke products just to give you a glimpse of what all products uh, fluke can offer to our customer Uh, we start from digital multimeter in fact fluke is known as a multimeter company but believe me fluke has a product range much beyond multimeters so apart from multimeters we have a complete range of clamp meters insulation testers digital thermometers earth ground testers a complete set of indoor air quality monitoring tools some advanced tools like power quality analyzers thermal imagers oscilloscopes or scope meter as we call them a complete range of electrical testers and field calibrator so fluke offers the widest category of product widest range of product to its customers be it electrical electronic maintenance design operation and maintenance or hvac contractors and professionals so today we would spend some time on analyzing the indoor air quality why it is important what we can do to improve it so it's not a new problem first of all we know about that air quality there are, there have been so many studies conducted by various Uh, professional bodies which tells us that indoor air quality is not as good so typically when there is pollution we go the the first advice is remain indoor and most of the time the indoor is as polluted or in certain case even more polluted than the outdoor so it is very important that when we adhere to this advice of stay indoor we continuously monitor our indoor air quality so that we are in a healthy air uh, there are different regulations uh, each country or each region has different regulations and sensitivity of people also vary greatly so uh, we might feel that 
people from a certain set of countries are more prone or more sensitive towards dust problems or people from a certain set of country or regions may not be as sensitive so it's a very subjective uh, topic also somebody might feel comfortable while the other person may feel a little cold or a little hot at the same temperature level so it's a very subjective uh, study also but at the same time a lot of study has been done and based upon that there are factors which defines how is the quality of air so some of the common factors uh, which we talk about uh, in indoor air quality as defined by ashray american society or ishray which is the indian society for heating and uh, refrigeration conditions so common parameters which have been defined uh, are temperature this is the first in fact temperature is so universal parameter it's not only for hvac electrical engineer when he goes to the shop floor if he wants to check is my motor okay is my compressor right then the first thing is monitor the temperature in fact as a human being when we fall sick the first thing we measure is temperature so temperature is the first parameter uh, in most of the conditions so same is condition here in iq we monitor are we sitting in a comfortable temperature or not is the temperature comfortable for the occupants or not is the temperature right for the process because there could be certain process which needs high temperature there could be certain process like cold storage they need a low temperature so measurement of temperature becomes very important whenever we want to maintain a healthy air temperature associated with dew point and relative humidity it forms our first line of defense against monitoring a bad air so if the temperature is fine humidity is within range dew points are uh, kind of you know till that time we don't have dew formation on the surface most of the thing as a first line of defense this is the basic parameter which all of us should monitor uh, carbon dioxide carbon monoxide fungal and bacterial agents some particulate matter like dust particle or, or smoke coming out from various sources uh, within our household we have kitchen so lot of kitchen pollution not pollution but lot of fumes in indian homes we we actually uh, have incense sticks so even incense stick it, it can suddenly increase your your particulate number inside here so all these things must be taken uh, in consideration when we are uh, when we are doing a indoor air quality analysis so as particle size i said so particle size could be less than 10 micron or more than 10 micron so we divide them as fine particles and coarse particle and uh, it comes out that fine particles are more dangerous because they can penetrate deep into our lungs through our respiratory channel so it's very important to continuously monitor a particle count especially around 2.5 micron because they can penetrate deep into our lungs through our respiratory tract the large size particle like 10 microns or higher of course they are important but from a human health perspective up to 10 micron is the most important some of the example like the, the worst part is particle we can't even feel we can't even see them with the naked eyes so this is one microscopic image of uh, uh, you know bacteria that how how mold or bacteria may grow on different surfaces unfortunately it goes unnoticed till the time the bacterial or fungal infection is very large it is infested in a on, on a surface so uh, we also have pets there are dust mite pollen all these they bring a great source of pollution inside our home uh, these are some microscopic uh, images of of bread mold we can't even see this and yet they are present in in all around the table salt bacteria and some other objects which are very commonly found in our environment in our air but we can't see them and that's why it's very important that we use professional tools to monitor all these particles to monitor all these parameters to make sure that we are living in a healthy air uh so uh, the importance for facility like uh, we have offices we have our residential complexes we have hospitals uh, we have multiplex offices we have ites cold storage data center and all of these buildings or we can say envelopes whether it's a residential envelope whether it is a commercial envelope it's very important that we monitor some basic parameters which i just outlined and uh, if you can see on the screen uh, there are different products positioned at different point and each product has a specific function each product can help us understand a specific parameter and take a remedial action uh, similarly in clean room clean room is is a very exceptionally high quality uh, very clean environment very clean air and food pharma medicine semiconductor manufacturing uh, some of the process uh, requires absolutely uh, clean air like microprocessor uh, manufacturing mobile assembly units uh, similarly uh, some of the bulk drug uh, research and development uh, labs all these environment they need a clean room environment so in clean room environment we also additionally need to measure what is the air flow what is the velocity is it uniform or not 
Is there some hot pockets like in cold storage? Is it too cold somewhere? Is the airflow bad somewhere? Data centers. Data center also need a continuous monitoring of inside air. Airborne particle counter, clean room, then is it a positively pressurized envelope or a negatively pressurized envelope? And of course, temperature and, and humidity. So the good part is uh, Fluke can offer the right tool for the right parameter and the right application to all our customers. So let's dive into some of the popular HVAC tools, popular IAD uh, indoor air quality tools, which Fluke can offer to its customers. Uh, we call this environmental range, uh, not only HVAC, but it's environmental because this range is beyond HVAC. Uh, we have anemometers, we have tachometers, which is very important for measuring speed of motor or compressors, uh, light meters or lux level meters to understand whether the, is the area over illuminated or under illuminated, sound level meters, uh, these are required uh, sometimes the chiller fans or the or the body of the chiller or the compressor is it making excessive noise so when we do a predictive analysis when we do a, a baselining well, this is a very important tool because when we install a chiller or when we install a HVAC system uh, the duct also has some noise so we need to do a baseline that when the system was new maybe the noise was 30 decibel after a year or so maybe the sound is 40 or 45 decibels so it tells us that there is some deterioration in the condition. There is some component which has gone loose. There is something which is making more noise. And typically noise comes from vibration and vibration is the first step of a problem. Even before temperature, it is the vibration signature which differs, which changes. After that comes temperature and after that com comes other parameters. So if we can measure noise, that is the noise of the instrument in field. In fact, in India, in a very general parlance, a mother knows that, let's say a mother has an infant baby, just six months old, just the way a baby cry, mother knows whether it is hungry or it is wet or it is some, some other problem. So noise is very important. So similarly, in our industrial environment, sound or noise is very important because that tells us whether the noise is abnormal or abnormal. So it's important that we measure all these environmental parameters, not only temperature and humidity. If we want to maintain our entire HVAC system, then we need to maintain not only the air, we need to maintain our motors, we need to maintain our compressors, our chillers and the, the other assets which we have in our HVAC system. So our first line of defense, uh, when we go to hospital, we go to doctor, the first thing he measures your temperature, your blood pressure. And after that, a series of advanced tests. Similarly, when we want to monitor our indoor air quality, then the first thing we need is the temperature right, is the humidity correct. If there is a deviation in these two parameters, then I think the basics itself is, is wrong. Uh, say we are in a cold storage and the temperature is not as it should be, then there is some problem. There is very high humidity in a warehouse, then the material will get deteriorated due to high humidity. There would be a lot of fungus, there would be some seepage, and of course, the occupant will not feel comfortable in that situation. So the, the very first parameter to be monitored is temperature and humidity. Fluke offers a product called Fluke 971. It's a very high accuracy, very fast responding, professional grade temperature and humidity meter. Generally, how to test a humidity meter, whether it is good quality or bad quality. The temperature part is the easy part. Humidity part is the difficult part. So just blow into the meter because our breath contains some moisture the, the moisture part, the humidity part would increase. And once the meter reaches 95% or above, all the bad quality meters become saturated. They become hanged and they take like maybe, maybe two minutes, five minutes to come back to the normal level of 60, 70 or 50. What is the environment? So this is a very rough test. If I want to check a humidity meter, whether it is a good quality or bad quality, you just need to blow air on the sensor. The faster the sensor goes up and comes down, the better the quality of sensor and the better is the quality of meter. And we actually ask our customer when they say, why should I buy a Fluke meter versus, a, versus any other brand or make? We say, sir, you just blow into this and see the sensor response. A, a poor quality meter, it becomes saturated. It gets stuck at 95, 99 level, maybe for five minutes, 10 minutes before it comes back to the normal level. The fluke meter, it goes up and it comes down. So what does it mean? It can track even a slight change in humidity and a very fast change. Sometimes the process is very fast changing. So there could be a humidity built up for a few minutes and then dissipates. A slow responding meter will not capture this. While a fluke meter, will capture this variation in your humidity level. So it is important to use a meter with a fast responsive humidity sensor. Uh, this also comes with an inbuilt memory. It has additional measurement of wet bulb and dew point. Very fast responsive sensor and it comes with a backlit display. 
so easy to work in a dark situation also this is second product okay our temperature is okay our humidity is okay second is we need to measure the air flow is air uniform in all the pockets we have a data center is there a server rack which is getting overheated is there a server rack which is not receiving the adequate supply of cold air so 925 anemometer help us to measure wind speed and check the distribution and the the speed of air in the entire uh, you know room or the or the place where we are using another is uh, the air pressure so most of the time we need to maintain a positive pressure so we need a differential manometer or a differential micro manometer fluke covers a fluke 9 to 2 manometer which can measure air velocity as well as pressure so we just need to put the meter like this and it can measure uh, differential pressure across two places we can measure pressure or flow in a circular or in a square or a rectangular duct also then another parameter like co and co2 these are very important when we are working especially uh, like parking so there are a lot of vehicles they emit a lot of co and co2 so it's important to monitor these two parameters also now carrying all these products might be difficult so proof 975 is one five in one two and this one product 975 it can measure temperature humidity co co2 and air velocity so it helps a professional to really go to the site and measure everything using just one product tachometers to measure speed of compressor and and motors because it is important that motor is run at a adequate at a optimum speed so that the adequate compression and cooling is available a light meter because uh, it's important to measure our uh, light lux level also in a room and sound meter as i said that is motor making some abnormal sound is there abnormal sound coming from chiller or my compressors is make, making noise uh, so base lining ke liye it is very important that we use a sound meter to maintain our hvac system for particle count we have perhaps the most advanced particle counter which is fluke 985 it can monitor 0.3 microns to 10 microns in six channels and both in differential as well as cumulative so we can understand that what is the quality of air what is the pollution in the air in the indoor air this is not meant for outside but this is meant for typically clean room applications and this conforms to iso 21501 standard not get into the specification so typically this these are our pollutants animal dander house dust bacteria cooking oil smoke dust cement fly ash so typically they range from 0.3 micron to 10 micron and fluke meter can monitor all of this from 0.3 to 10 micron so it's a complete product handheld very lightweight high performance six channels and it comes with a colored screen a uh, 3 and a half inches color screen on which we can see the result uh, we can directly transfer data Uh, to a usb we can transfer the data through our lan network to a remote location and we can see trending over a period of time so you can see the the graph at the bottom we can see the trend over a period of time uh, we can take that data download as excel or as trend using a usb or a data transfer cable it does not require any special software everything is bundled inside the product it comes with a user driven user uh, interface just like our mobile there are icons and using product is very easy uh, just in case if if somebody needs any more information on on iid products or on fluke products uh, you can share my coordinates and i would be more than happy to share further information